The ideal adsorbed solution theory developed by Myers and Prausnitz is widely used for the estimation of mixture adsorption equilibrium in zeolites, MOFs, COFs, activated carbon, and other adsorbents. The uh, purpose of my presentation is to explain the uh, fundamentals of the IAST and to highlight the mandates of the IAST that must be obeyed in order for the uh, theory to hold for the uh, specific guest host combination. The material I'm going to present is uh, largely from my presentation published in ACS Omega in 2021. And uh, watch also my more complete presentation on the IST for mixture adsorption equilibrium that is also available on my um, YouTube channel. The description of the thermodynamics of mixture adsorption begins with the Gibbs adsorption equation written in this form, A differential of pi equals the sum of the product of the uh, molar loading of component I times the differential of the chemical potential of component I. A is the specific surface area and uh, pi is the uh, spreading pressure within the units of uh, newtons per meter at thermodynamic equilibrium the uh, differential of the uh, chemical potential of component i is related to the differential of the uh, partial fugacity in the uh, bulk of fluid phase by this expression. In the uh, ideal adsorbed solution theory of Myers and Prausnitz, the partial fugacity of component I in the uh, bulk of fluid phase is related to the mole fraction of component I in the adsorbed phase by an expression that is the analog of the Raoult's law for vapor liquid equilibrium. Pi superscript zero represents the sorption pressure of species I and the sorption pressures satisfy this expression that implies that the sorption pressures are such that the spreading pressure for mixture adsorption equals the spreading pressure of component one on its own and the spreading pressure of component two. In these integrals, these represent the unary isotherms for component one and the unary isotherm for component two. Since the uh, surface area A is not easily accessible, it is convenient to define the surface potential phi as uh, the spreading pressure times the specific area divided by RT. The surface potential can be determined from uh, information on the unary isotherms. For the uh, special case in which the uh, unary isotherms are described by the Langmuir isotherms, with saturation capacities Q1 sat for component one and Q2 sat for component two, the integrals 
in the previous slide may be determined analytically to obtain phi in the following form. Uh, we also have the relation between the mole fraction and the adsorbed phase with the sorption pressures for component 1, a mole fraction of 2 in the adsorbed phase, which is equal to 1 minus x1, is related to the sorption pressure for component 2. Inserting these into the expression for the surface potential, we obtain the following relationship. Now, for a given set of partial fugacities of components 1 and 2 in the bulk fluid phase, and from information on the unary isotherm data fit, we know B1 and Q1 sat, B2 and Q2 sat, we can determine the mole fraction of component 1 in the adsorbed phase by solving this nonlinear equation. This cannot be solved analytically except for the special case where q1 sat equals q2 sat in that case the uh, solution to this expression corresponds precisely with the binary langmuir model for the general case where the saturation capacities are unequal we need to obtain the solution to this nonlinear equation by use of a, a root uh, finder and after solving this equation for the mole fraction x1 we can determine the sorption pressures uh, by use of these expressions here Further important assumption made in the uh, Myers Prasnitz development of the IAST is that there is no change in the specific surface area of each molecule on mixture adsorption. And therefore, we have uh, A divided by the total molar loading of the mixture as a sum of the specific area times the mole fraction of component 1 divided by the loading of component 1 determined at the sorption pressure of component 1 plus A times the mole fraction of component 2 divided by the uh, loading of component 2 determined from the unary isotherm at the sorption pressure for component 2. This expression allows us to calculate the total mixture loading. The component loadings Q1 and Q2 are then determined from uh, these expressions because the uh, mole fraction X1 is already known from uh, the solution of the nonlinear equation that was discussed in the previous slide. Now, um, in order to test the uh, accuracy of the ideal adsorbed solution theory we need mixture adsorption equilibrium data experimental data on mixture adsorption equilibrium are very scarce so we resort 
to the use of configurational bias Monte Carlo simulations to test the validity and accuracy of the ideal adsorbed solution theory. We summarize the key assumptions that are made in development of the IAST. All the adsorption sites within the microporous crystalline material are equally accessible to each of the gas molecules and this implies there's a homogeneous distribution of gas adsorbates within the pore landscape. There's no segregation, no congregation or preferential siting of gas molecules within the pore topology. And uh, the specific surface area that is occupied by each molecule remains unchanged in mixture adsorption. There's a further point to be made regarding uh, the adsorption selectivity. The adsorption selectivity is defined as the ratio of the molar loadings to the ratio of the uh, partial fugacities in the bulk fluid phase. And this expression may be rewritten in terms of uh, the mole fractions, x1 and x2. And in view of this um, expression relating the partial fugacities and absorption pressures and mole fractions, we write the adsorption selectivity of 1 with respect to 2 as the ratio of the absorption pressure of 2 with respect to the absorption pressure of 1. Now, for the thermodynamic equilibrium to hold, the sorption pressures P10 and P20 yield the same value of the surface potential. And therefore, these expressions imply that the adsorption selectivity is uniquely determined by the surface potential irrespective of the compositions in the uh, bulk fluid phase mixture. We shall test this conclusion using CBMC simulations of mixture adsorption equilibrium.